before I actually weld the reinforcement bracket on, I'm going to do some test welds with the same thickness material because I don't want to blow through the BMW body. So I like my settings and I like how I have the nozzle. I got away from the material a little bit here so there was some popping. But I started close and then from here the tip stayed close and I got a bunch of material and I got some pretty good fusion. So I'm just going to make sure that I stay close with the tip when I'm welding to the car and I think I have the settings that I like. Here's a reinforcing place installed. I have it primed. I'm going to do some seam sealer. I'm probably going to do the other side and then seam sealer and paint the same afternoon. Put rust converter on this, on these guys came out pretty good. I made sure I put my spacer plate for where the collar goes because if you don't everything will not be aligned. To fill my time when doing some of these steps when I have to wait I've been bending up the new brake line and to change this brake line I had to take the fuel filter cover off. So I'm going to change the fuel filter while I'm in here. I ground down about this much past where the reinforcing plate goes. I have these spreader clamps here so that I can match the contour of the existing mount point. I bent this close to the right shape but I need these spreaders here to hold this in. I'm going to get a good tack here on the other side and at the spot weld. And then that should hold this side in place. And then I'll also fill at least one spot one side of the spot welds to hold this on so then I can finish bending this on and once I know this plate's on then I'll push this this against with the spreader putting that spreader there kept it in place I tacked it in several places So now that's staying on there. Now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I have the other side tacked on. And we're matching the contour of the existing body pretty close.
So now I'm going to fill this in, and this corner's done. Got this all primed, put seam sealer on. So I'm going to let the seam sealer dry and then do top coat, see what it looks like. Probably end up doing two coats. So the rear mount points and bodywork are now all painted. Came out pretty good. Hopefully I'm not going to have to worry about gas tank mounts on either side now. Because I cleaned them up, I rust converted them, primed them, painted them.